Thanks for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer. My name is Bruce Schaller, and this video is on custom rendered views inside of SolidWorks Composer. To begin with, our Render tab has a view mode under it where we can go in and elect to show things in different rendered modes that are pre configured, things like the silhouette mode or the flat technical mode the technical mode. I really like the smooth with outline mode. That, that's one of my favorites. And if we want to go in and change like the transparency on one of the parts to look see-through such as this model right here, this view right here, that's pretty easy to do. That's done typically by going to a view where you want to make certain parts transparent clicking on the parts that you want to make transparent and then going into the opacity option in the properties pane and sliding those down to the desired level of transparency and then going ahead and saving that view with that desired level. Now doing that you see the whole part really becomes transparent and it's you don't really see a solid outline on the outer part of the part. So let's look and see how we can go in and make our own custom rendered mode where we can see this a little differently. So to begin with, you want to click on the parts that you want to put into that render mode. And then you can go over to the mode button and go up to custom. When you are clicked on custom and you come down and slide down the property manager Pain, you're going to see under custom rendering the different options that you have. I could turn those parts into silhouette. So they're now silhouette, completely transparent, but leaving the outer edges. I could click and save a view in that mode. Now, those parts that are under the custom tab, you can click on those and change them at any time. You'll be able to get back to that custom rendering mode that you put in and change those back to whatever you want. Now if I wanted to make them transparent and I slid this down we have this other option called priority and this is kind of neat. If we go in and give them a negative priority you're gonna see what happens is it lets you see through the part with a ghosting effect as I spin the part around and look into it from the different angles but I see the whole outer part a lot better. So it's just this different option that gives you for really looking down into a part. Maybe I want to save one like that. Let's go in and see what happens if we change that priority option to like a positive one. What it's going to do is make everything else besides the parts I picked go more transparent so I can kind of see down into it a different way. So you can explore the different options and priorities in there but really to get you into the mode it's really selecting on the geometry, clicking on the custom button and then sliding down and seeing the custom rendering options that you get when you're on that custom rendered mode. So that's it for custom renderings inside of the SolidWorks Composer. Thanks for watching another quick tip video.